Let's now take you live to the KNUSD campus where the Ashanti Regional Security uh, Council is actually deploying more security personnel to enforce compliance of the directive to students to leave campus. This follows an intelligence picture by the RECSEC to the effect that some students were planning to cause disturbances on campus. My colleague Ohiming Teria is currently at Unity Hall and joins us with more. Uh, Ohiming Teria, so tell us what is the latest you can report from there? We've heard of the Red Sex intervention, we've heard of the police presence on campus, but what is the latest as far as the development is concerned? Uh, thank you, my brother. Uh, at the KNUSC campus currently, uh, more students are leaving campus. Uh, perhaps uh, they are done with their end of semester exams, as stated by the Regional Security Council's uh, press release, asking students uh, to leave campus immediately they are done with their end of semester exams. It's only foreign students and students uh, who have, you know, defense uh, to make on their projects that are allowed uh, to stay on campus even then with the permission of dean of uh, students. Uh, this morning, what we are witnessing is that uh, more police officers have moved and now they are stationed at the uh, two uh, halls of residence uh, talking about a uh, unity hall, also known as Conti, and then a uh, university hall, also known as Katanga. Uh, so yesterday, the situation was that uh, police were doing uh, foot uh, patrolling, uh, moving uh, from uh, hall to hall, and then on campus. But now they are more stationed, uh, providing a specific uh, security uh, at specific time, uh, to students uh, who are here. Uh, I must also admit that their numbers uh, have also increased compared to what we witnessed uh, yesterday. And the students ask them when they leave campus, you also uh, see police officers, you know, taking uh, uh, positions uh, to monitor situations uh, here on campus. Right, so Ohiming, uh after all of these developments, of course, I know there are some uh, concerns, even as the students wrap up with their examinations and uh, move on. But in the immediate term, apart from these things you've mentioned, what are going to be the actions that will be brought to bear uh, just to ensure that we can forestall similar incidents moving on? For the students, they are not all that uh, perturbed. Uh, say with the presence of security on campus, a majority of them are happy that they have enough and adequate security uh, here on campus. Uh, but uh, at the Unity Hall here, I'm learning that uh, as a norm, any time they go on vacation, any time they're about to leave campus, there's what they call a morale session. Uh, the morale session, students gather, they sing, they dance, and do... Uh, all sort of things and make merry before they leave campus. Uh, but because of the presence here, that particular uh, activity is likely to be put on hold. And uh, a while ago, uh, before you came to me, I overheard some students uh, saying that uh, campus is not all that, you know, uh, life on campus is not all that sweet, uh, meaning that they are the people who enjoy uh, that morale session. And once that particular activity is not coming on, uh, they are somehow unhappy uh, with that development. Uh, but I, I must say it is only peculiar uh, to Unity Hall and Katanga Hall, uh, where students normally uh, proud themselves uh, with their halls of residence and then engage uh, in these uh, merry uh, making activities. Uh, so yes, that is the development. Uh, some of them who still have exams to write are busy uh, going about their you know, uh, schedule and then going to the exam halls uh, to write the exams. But uh, it's a busy day on campus, I, I must admit, because perhaps uh, this is the last day of the uh, school. Uh, and we are also learning from the university authorities that majority of the students are almost done with their exams. Uh, per the information I picked from the authorities, about 85% of the students are done with their end of semester exams. Uh, so majority of them are expected to leave campus today. 
Uh, perhaps a few of them will be around uh, till tomorrow, uh, 12 midday tomorrow, uh, to leave campus. Until all, all students have left. Uh, And, and so, Oheming, I was asking, the security presence will remain until all students have left. Uh, sure, sure. The arrangement uh, put in place by the Regional Security Council for uh, Police, uh, BNI, and National Security to be on campus uh, is for a particular period. Uh, we are told even after the students have left campus, the security operatives will remain on campus to monitor situation and even beyond the... Uh, school, uh, they, they want to monitor the situation be, uh, beyond the walls of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology uh, to ensure that uh, the school do not have a reoccurrence of the 2018 events uh, where uh, students uh, poured onto the streets, uh, clashed with security operatives, uh, destroyed uh, school property amounting to uh, 3 uh, million Ghana cities. Uh, so in order for authorities to be sure and quite sure and safe, that is why they've introduced uh, these measures with the uh, support of the Regional Security Council. And don't forget, uh, since 2018, KNUST has been a security zone. So what it means is that uh, group activities or students coming together uh, are not allowed on campus. Uh, so that is the situation. And yesterday, uh, the regional minister uh, did mention that more uh, security uh, officers will be deployed today. And today, we are witnessing that uh, more armed police have joined uh, their counterparts uh, who were on campus yesterday, indicating that they want to ensure and maintain a peace on the campus of KNUST. What, what is the date of return of these uh, students? Do you know? When, when are they due to return? Unfortunately, I, I have no idea. When I spoke to uh, the university authorities, the information they gave me is that the students uh, will be informed when they, they have to return. But right. for the reopening day, uh, I have no idea when they will return. I mean, Tabia, thank you very much for bringing us the latest on that development. And you had live visuals from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology there. Thank you, Ohim Interior.